sun is wonderful and we all love going to the beach and we all need to go to work and but we pass through a lot of sun doing those kinds of things so we in dermatology recommend sun protection just generally so you know I, I will tell people get the biggest sunglasses they can find and wear them because the skin around the eyes is particularly sensitive so you know, put your sunglasses on there's nothing better than a good hat to protect your skin so we tell people to get a broad brimmed hat the bigger the brim the better the majority of men who get their first skin cancer it's on the left side because they like to be the driver all that 11 hours of sun coming in is going to make that left side older than your right side and so you can have your window on your cars treated to keep ultraviolet light out. We love sunscreen in dermatology. We think everyone should use it and we think everyone should use it every day, just every day, especially on the face. So the American Academy of Dermatology recommends an SPF of at least 30. We feel that that blocks about 97% of the sun and that's probably adequate. Sometimes that higher SPF compensates for the fact that we don't put on enough. So when you use a sunscreen, you're supposed to use a shot glass full, one ounce of sunscreen to cover your exposed areas, your face, okay, your neck, your arms, and your legs. That is a lot of sunscreen. So here I have you know, a tube of sunscreen. This is three ounces. So that means you should use a third of this bottle okay when you go outside if you're going to the beach you want to have a waterproof sunscreen and they'll have a 40 and 80 so a 40 means you know it's good for 40 minutes and 80 means it's good for 80 minutes so you know you want to make sure that you know how long it's going to be good for if you're in the ocean swimming and then reapply it as well sun reflects off of surfaces it will reflect off the water when you're boating it reflects off the sand when you're playing on the beach it reflects off snow big time so you want to make sure that you cover up areas that you might not think to like under your chin or under your nose and the other thing that's really important is to protect your lips we do see sun damage and skin cancers on lips they do make lip balms with sunscreen as well and all of these things need to be applied and reapplied every two hours we like umbrellas so anytime that you know, you're going to be out for any length of time you can use a parasol or an umbrella. We know that even one sunburn anytime in your life increases your risk of melanoma, and anyone can get a melanoma. So the more sunburns, obviously, the more we worry. Chronic sun damage clearly increases your risk of basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas as well as melanoma. Even people with darker skin types, even though you may not burn, you will certainly get darker and you'll get sun damage and increase your risk of you know cancers down the road so you know even though the sun feels so good and it's good for our mental health it's really not very good for our skin